Hi guys, this is Derek Bailey from myhostedwebsite.com. Today I'm doing showing you a video on Media Temple Managed WordPress. Uh, I've just signed up for the new one of the new plans, uh, which is a personal managed WordPress plan, which gives you two sites. Let's go to their website. So Media Temple have recently released uh, well. It's been over a year now since they've come out with their new WordPress hosting platform. Um, and they've recently changed the plans. The plans were initially $29, which gave you free sites and email accounts. Now they've split it up into four plans. As you can see here, you've got a personal site for $20 a month, which is the one I just signed up for, um, and then you've, which gives you two sites. 400,000 monthly visitors and 300 gig of storage. As you can see, studio, $60 a month, blah, 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 and it goes on from there. So, main purpose of the video today is just having a look at Media Temple and and is it worth it, basically. Um, I've been a Media Temple customer on and off over the years, going back as far as 2007. I've seen their platform change uh, dramatically over the years. Um, recent years there's been a lot of backlash as they've been purchased by GoDaddy have bought Media Temple as of last year I think it was sometime middle of last year something like that. Uh, there's been a lot of you know um, bad press or bad comments on, on, the, on the internet regarding that purchase and people thinking you know now Media Temple is going to go downhill because they're now part of GoDaddy GoDaddy doesn't have the best of reputations, although they are they themselves now are making a good comeback with their own um, managed WordPress hosting, which I'll be uh, reviewing at some point. Anyway, enough on that. Let's go and have a look inside and see what you actually get. So this is a dashboard. Once you've signed up for your hosting account, um, one of the great things uh, I like about the way uh, Media Temple have now revised, they've got very sexy control panel at the moment which is tends to want to draw you in regardless of whether the service is is good or not you, you, I love their control panel looks nice fresh clean clear very um, easy to understand and as you can see here you are in your services um, area and it just shows you what you signed up for you can see I've got the premium WP uh, personal service here I also signed up for their grid service which I'll be doing a separate uh, review on. So I click on admin, take us into the WordPress sites. Now I have the basic plan, personal plan, which gives you two sites. They initially set one up on a sort of um, temporary domain, which has already got WordPress installed, as you can see. Over here, you've got server status, the amount of sites you've got and you here you can click here to add a new site or you can click here to add a new site. I'm just going to go in to manage this uh, site that's just been set up. Okay there's a little tour, let's go through this tour and see what uh, what features we have here. So let's take the tour. Uh, this is the nickname for the site, temporary, which is live, you can actually go to that and um, see the website live. Points over here. This is where you can manage everything. You can administer the site here. So you've got general developer tools, domains, themes, PHP, my admin. Uh, here, click all sites, see an overview all your sites, and add a new site to your WordPress service. So that's where you can add new sites. Here, add your Google Analytics tracking code that was quite useful. So you can stick in Google Analytics down here. Uh, when you're ready to go with your sites, WP Admin, just use this shortcut. Okay, right, so here's your shortcut to get into your uh, dashboard, which is quite useful. Okay, that's a quite simple, straightforward tour. Just pointing out, showing you where everything else where everything is and you can see here you've got some more advanced tools here so you've got your SSH and SFTP um, details which you won't be able to see on this video as I'll mask out for obvious reasons um, and that is it, it looks pretty straightforward let's just view the um, temporary setup site as it is 
that seemed to load up pretty quickly and what I'll do while I'm here actually let's just um, take this and let's just do a quick test just to see now this is straight out of the box I've not been into dashboard I've not done anything I've not added anything this is straight just been generated by Media Temple themselves let's just do a couple of tests and see what see what kind of what the uh, performance is on that okay so as you can see uh, we've got our page speed grades and wise low grades are, are A, 95 and 93 percent respectively and we have a page load time of 0 0.65 seconds now that is not bad considering um, this is straight out of the box with no optimizations um, on Media Temple the managed WordPress hosting doesn't allow you to use any um, caching plugins they do all that for you now this seems to be I see this all over the internet when it when they talk when people go into uh, forums etc and start whinging and moaning about oh I can't use my own oh I can't use WP Supercache okay. that is the whole point of a managed WordPress service the clue is in the first word it's managed for you get it it's managed for you you don't need Cash, caching plugins. They'd, that's the whole point. Or else, then you might as well just go to any old host and use your your caching plugins and set things up how you want. It's, what's the point? I don't get it. I don't see why people are arguing. Well, I can't use this plugin. I can't use that. It's a managed service. So yes, there are some restrictions, and that goes for any WordPress managed service that's any good that's out there at the moment. And that's what I want to see. They. That's what you're paying the extra money for, basically. So um, just want to get that off my chest. Anyway, so that looks okay. Um, let's just try. Don't know if I've got that set up. Let's see what Pingdom says about that same site. Wow, that's pretty good. Um, as you can see there, your website is faster than ninety-nine percent of all tested websites and load time is 331 milliseconds so pretty good optimization out of the box you don't need to do anything you can just get cracking with your WordPress site and you know do what's more important and that's to get your site developed etc okay let's go through some of these uh, sections here let's see what they've got under developer tools because um, there are a few good stuff uh, good bits that you can use here as a WordPress developer for example staging sites so I have two domains I'm allowed two domains so I have two take staging sites that I can go off and make a copy of the live site have it here develop a site for a client for example and show them that and then push it over to the live site once you know it's been signed off and, and ready to go so quite a few um, nice nice little touches, nice features as I said I love the layout, I love how the control panel looks, a bit sick of cPanel at the moment to be honest so this is a refreshing change um, from from using that. Um, you can add a domain here etc, it gives you your IP address and, and, and information in the info section here. Uh, let's have a look at their themes, I do believe that they have uh, yes they do right okay so you can upload a new theme these themes look I think these are some custom themes that actually uh, are part of your account and I assume you have access to the standard WordPress themes that you would get on any normal WordPress install uh, this is just a very quick look at Media Temple's managed WordPress hosting if you want me to do a more in-depth uh, video on this and maybe even just build out a complete site on a YouTube video let me know in the comments below I've got my affiliate link in the, in the bottom there pretty um, pretty impressed by how it looks so far don't listen to all the complaints online people complain about you can't use that plugin you can't use that that's the whole point of managed service it's managed for you to get it optimized to run the best and the fastest you, you need it to be running for your website that's what it's all about guys uh, see you in the next video